Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another 3DS Game Ideas video. And this time I'm going to be talking about something, well, more or less it's something I've been interested in but I've never really had a chance to play. And that is Mega Man Star Force for Capcom to, you know, actually put together like a trilogy that encompasses all of the different variations of each of the individual games into a singular collection. Now, there are technically only three games, but there are like, man, looking this up right now, <laughs> just like Star Force alone, the original one, the first game in, 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 uh, in the order of the series, which Star Force takes place after um, Mega Man, Battle Network. So, um, looking at Star Force and you look up the first game, <laughs> it's like three variations of that one. Um, so that one should just be called Mega Man Star Force. Just like overall, just Mega Man Star Force. Um, I'm trying to look this up really quickly. Yeah, because there's, there's like tons of variations of each one. And it's just like ridiculous. Um, let's see, the first one, the first one. Uh, which in, in Japan is called Shooting Star Rockman, but in, over here, Mega Man Star Force. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there are three versions of it you have Pegasus, Leo, and Dragon. <laughs> like, so I don't think anyone would want to call it Mega Man Star Force Pegasus Leo Dragon. You'd just call it Mega Man Star Force for the sake of the game. Um, Star Force 2, I think, had like four iterations? It's, just, it's like ridiculous. But what I would say, instead of, like, instead of making the individual games take all of the battle chips that or across the three of them and just combine them into one. Some of them overlap anyway. And you you can trade the battle chips back and forth just like you could with a uh, with Battle Network. But instead of going through like five or six different versions of a game, just put them all in one. Just put them all in one and, and make one cohesive story. Uh Oh, hold on. Star Force 2 might have only had two versions. <laughs> I'm a little bit shocked. Um, you have Zerker Cross Surian, or Berserk Cross Dinosaur in Japan, or Zerker Cross Ninja, or Berserk Cross Shinobi over here. I mean, over in Japan again, shit. So, for Mega Man Star Force 2, it would just be Mega Man Star Force 2 Zerker. Instead of Zerker Cross whatever. But like, simplify the name, combine everything between the two games. Uh, I, to me, that makes more sense to do it that way. And it would just make it easier. I mean, not necessarily make it easier, because you have to combine all this shit and then <laughs> stick it in, in a game. But... It would make more sense than having everything be separated. So I, that's what my thought process is. I could have sworn there were two, there were two other versions, or at least another version of that game. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I misread it, and I, and I was looking at the American names versus the Japanese names, and that's what messed with me. Um, and Mega Man Star Force Three. The versions are Black Ace and Red Joker. Huh. I don't know. Should I just call that one Mega Man Star Force 3 Ace and Joker? And then call it a day? Uh, like, uh, I think that would work out. Like, as far as naming each one uh, and combining all of the elements between them. Because I swear, maybe, I, maybe that's what I did wrong and I looked at the names, like the... the I saw the... Uh, localized names versus the uh import names <laughs> and that was what screwed me over in the head and i'm thinking like damn it's like four versions of each one of these 
So the first the first game actually was the one that had the most iterations. The second and third game each only had two iterations of each one. Which is fine. Uh, like, again, mostly my thought process is like I was like when I did the uh, Battle Network video way back. Um, just combine them. Combine a, instead of Mega Man Star Force One, Leo Dragon and damn it, I, whatever. Instead of the three of them. <laughs> just do one game. Combine all of it, put all the battleships into one game, and make it possible for you to get all of them in that one game. And then, again, for, for the collection, allow you to transition. If, if you... the one Any of the battleships that carry over from Star Force 1 to 2 allow you to move them to the next game inside the game. Not like... You're doing it in a menu outside of the game, but like you're in the game and you have to do it in the game. And same for moving stuff from Mega Man Star Force 2 to 3. If there are battleships that move from 2 to 3, allow the same thing. Um, <clears throat> and then I would also put in an online mode that would encompass all of the, the stuff that each of the games has had. So that means any battleships that you have earned playing Star Force 1, 2, and 3, you'd be able to use them in this online battle mode against other people. Whether you are playing a live opponent or you're playing like um, basically a server memory of like said opponent. like Kind of like what uh, Killer Instinct Shadow Lords is like where... It, the game remembers, it records how you play and it makes a composite based on what you've done. And it learns your patterns and tendencies and then it plays based on what you've done before. Like, either one works for me. Like, actually, allowing both would be an optimal, an optimal choice. That way, let's say you want to play against someone, but you don't have time to play with each other. Well, then you can play basically their, uh, their shadow... I, guess, I wouldn't want to call it a shadow for Mega Man Star Force, so I guess uh, their star. That, that, this, I think that makes the most sense, calling it their star. Like, you, you fight, face their star profile, and you can take them on. Or, if you do have time to play each other, then you can play the live person. I mean, either one's fine with me, as long as it keeps, like, whatever their favorite battle chips are, and... and Again, whatever the tendencies are, whatever battle chips that they have, it'll use the battle chips the same way that they do. And this is all stuff I see as being possible. And I think it would be fun and interesting. And it would be nice to, again, they've got the Mega Man anime series coming out. What they need to do is hit people hard as hell with a bunch of different Mega Man stuff. I mean, it's going to be confusing that there are so many different versions of Mega Man and they haven't put out a daggone game for the current anime, but whatever. Put what, put Meg, the Mega Man stuff that we do know that's out there and let people get interested in that too. At least that's how I see it. And putting Mega Man Star Force in the 3DS is just a good idea. One, because the series was already on the DS and it's not much work to train... It's not going to be as much work to translate it from the DS to the 3DS as it would be to, say, translate from the three the DS to the Switch. Even though I think that, that would also be possible, but they'd probably have to split the screen and just make it half and half. That way you can see everything all at once. Huh. Oh, man, I was fighting off that yawn this whole time. <laughs> Uh, but that had to happen. I had to yawn. But it's just to me that makes more sense to do it that way, and I think it would be, it would be a good choice. And it's not like the the uh, Star Force series was bad. It's just I don't think the Star Force series itself did as well as uh, the Battle Network series. I think once once Battle Network ended, Star Force kind of just fell off. And it's not like it's a bad series, from what I've seen of it. I haven't played it yet, but you know what? Uh, somebody, 
who owns a 3DS will go, go ahead and buy <laughs> like at least one iteration of each of the games. And I'm going to play through all of them. <laughs> Beat them. That way I can actually say I've actually fully completed that that uh, that timeline. Like I have with the, the classic timeline. <laughs> oh, man. But it's up to Capcom to make this choice. To me, this just sounds like a good idea. I mean, they did the... They did it with freaking uh, Ace Attorney. Why can't they do it with Mega Man? <laughs> he, you, you you got so many different uh, and, and they again they did the classic series where they did the home console games, but they didn't do the handheld games. I'm like, it's, Capcom, you're some you're so smart sometimes, but you're so stupid others. Like they they have like so much Mega Man stuff that they could use for this. It's like just going to waste. Was <laughs> just like sitting in a in a vault in a room in somewhere in a room, and they're not doing anything with it. And it hurts my heart as a Mega Man fan. But uh, let me get off the ta- the tangent. Mega Man Star Force uh, Legacy Collection would be a great freaking idea. Uh, not Legacy Collection, Legacy Trilogy, because it's not like they've made any more Star Force stuff. I mean, I would love them to give us a whole new trilogy, like a whole different set of games, but let's let's work with what you already have made and see if people like that, like that coming back, and then go from there. I mean, it's not like Capcom doesn't do that anyway with Resident Evil, but so hey, why not? <laughs> yeah, thank you guys very much for listening. Ah, getting hung up on words. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games and peace out, people.